hi everybody welcome back to my channel if you have not done so already please subscribe and push that bell notification so you are alerted every time i upload a new video and make sure you like this video liking this video helps with the youtube algorithm and it helps to push my content forward so that lots more people can see it without it it's kind of like you never were here so let's get into this video. I actually shot this video last summer during the quarantine. I was trying to find ways to learn new things. And so this was one of the projects that I wanted to do. I've always wanted to do a neon sign. I was figuring out what I could make. And of course we were at home already. So I said at home. And this was going to go in my basement. But as I went through the project, I realized that there are certain limitations you have with these neon lights and so the lettering here is very narrow um, and so what ended up happening as you'll see here is me trying to bend the letters and as you saw in the opening shot everything is a little a little janky um, it's not fluid it's not really nice looking but being that I had already cut the acrylic and I had already cut pieces, um, I figured I would just show the process anyway. So here I'm just trying to make all these pieces fit and I was marking them as I went along. I was just trying to find the best, the easiest way for me to remember which piece went where. And as you can see here, those radiuses are really tight. Um, I didn't give myself a lot of tolerance, but again, this was the very first time that I did anything like this and so I wasn't sure what kind of fonts I was supposed to use, um, what width, um, all of those things. It's really hard to find videos where they take you step by step um, or at least explain it anyway. So I kind of just went with a font that I liked and it just so happened it didn't work. So now I know after doing it a few times um, what fonts to use or which fonts are preferable for projects like this. I learned three things in this project. Basic soldering, how to CNC acrylic, and how to properly connect and solder wire connections. I learned a tip to pre-solder or at least, is it tin? I think it's called tinning um, your wires. So basically you're putting some solder on the tips of your wires so you're not having to kind of do it from scratch. So I basically pre-tinned all of my connections before I started soldering. So that I think, I didn't show a lot of that process before I started cutting the the white, the lights, but that's what I did. It took me It took me a good amount of time to do that. Plus I was also learning how to basic solder, um, which can be a little tricky if you've never done it before. And here I'm just kind of testing, pushing them through the holes um, as I glue them down um, so I know and make it easy for myself to solder the connections on the back. I just want to say thank you to all my patrons for being so supportive. You make these videos possible. Also that soldering pin gets really, really hot, but luckily I ordered a really, really nice digital one. So it told me the exact temperature of the soldering pin. So here I'm just testing the connection once I've done it to make sure that the connection worked in that that particular section of light lit up properly. 
I will say that I learned a lot during this process. Um, I definitely want to do more of these um, projects. I learned pretty much what fonts to use and to not use. I learned how to solder, which is a feat all by itself. I learned how to CNC acrylic, so now I know what my tolerance are, what my feeds and speeds need to be, um, what type of acrylic to use, what bits I need to use. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, push that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload a new video. And as you can see, this is the finished product. Bye guys!